uh, which is the better tool for trading R or Python? Do I need to be a good programmer for learning Python? Or uh, is there really for is, is this really for retail or intraday trader like me? Yes. Um, <clears throat> each language has its plus and minuses. And um, so in for example, uh, just comparing R versus Python, uh, the Python statistical library, the stat model, is quite frankly very poor. Uh, and uh, in particular, uh, many of the standard econometric time series models, um, uh, you know, a Rimmer or uh, uh, or uh, uh, Gart or uh, um, uh, uh, Coppola's uh, modeling. Uh, and uh, you know more some of the more advanced uh, statistical models uh, that uh, that that those imply, uh, as well as, um, as things such as um, uh, you know how, how to just basically uh, uh, determine if a time series uh, has um, a co-integration that, that kind of thing. Uh, they are very standard econometric model, like, like like also common filter. Just another example. Uh, those things are very very poorly constructed uh, in SATS model, which is practically the only statistical library I could find in Python. So if you are interested in classical econometric tools, uh, Python is not for you. R is. R has a most complete econometrics and statistics library that's because it's been used by all this uh, academic statistician for years and econometr econometricians for years. Uh, there's no question that uh, the uh, more uh, traditional classical statistics uh, one should use R. For however, the more newer libraries such as machine learning for for deep learning or for random forest and so forth, you know, for machine learning per se, uh, then uh, Python has the advantage because there are you know many more um, libraries that are written in Python in machine learning per se. So now, so when you say what tool is good for trading, it depends on what kind of uh, quantitative models you're using whether you use the more traditional econometric model, whether you're using the machine learning model. And so you have to choose your language based on that. Um, to learn Python is not so difficult, but um, Python is a language that has a low barrier to entry, but it is very difficult to become an expert because there are so many tricks that you need to know. Uh, I don't consider my, and myself an expert in Python by uh, by long shot. Um, so yes, uh, you don't have to be a good programmer to be to get started in Python, but you will need to spend a lot of time programming and learning from other people to become an expert in that language. Now, as to whether it is suitable for uh, a retail or intraday trader. Uh, Again, it depends on your training strategy. Any any language can be suitable for a retail trader, uh, because, uh, well, I I would say in this respect that Python certainly has an advantage because many of the brokers have a Python API, so you can use Python to create training strategy and actually generate an order and submit it through the API of the broker. So in that respect, I think Python might be more suitable than the other languages. Um, and uh, so, yeah, and, and that's certainly suitable for retail traders because, uh, uh, you know, it's very, fairly easy to, to use this API. Yes, that is correct. And just to mention a fact, you know, so re according to Stack Overflow in a recent survey that they've done with the developers, Python is the fastest growing programming language in the world right now. And it is adopted uh, on a very larger scale. And hence, there are new developers coming in and contributing with these amazing libraries, as mentioned by Dr. Chan. So